Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. It truly means the world to me that we're spending this time together and I'm so grateful. Today I'll be doing a fall haul and a little iGirl bundle reveal. Fall is upon us and I'm so excited. I am obviously all cozied up because I'm always cold, but I'm truly trying to pace myself because I was about to go out in a hoodie and a full winter coat the other day and my partner was like, it's gonna get much colder than this so you should probably pace yourself out with the layers so that you can adjust to the freezing. I'm really temperature sensitive. But anyways, I'm so excited because I have so many awesome fall essentials that I wanted to share with you guys and a little eye girl bundle kind of reveal. So I'll do that first because I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious about that and these have been really popular on YouTube. So I ordered two. This is my second one. The first one I actually filmed on my app, which you can download. First link in the description. That one was amazing. This one was so mediocre and I just didn't want to do a whole video on it. I'll show you guys. I asked for... What did I ask for? Basically, Unif inspired and goth, but also sweet and feminine at the same time. And this is what she came up for me. I also said that I liked butterflies, and I showed her a specific photo of this girl's shoes that I loved. And she came through in many ways, but not all. So she gave me the shoes that the girl was wearing in the photo, and they're Unif shoes, which are really nice, and these are like $128 on their site, so she, yeah, blessed me with these for sure, and they're in pretty good condition. The straps are slightly worn, but they're totally good to go, and I'm really excited about them. They have like this wooden platform. I dig them. I probably wouldn't normally buy them from Unif myself. She gave me this thermal, which is by Aeropostel, which just reminds me of middle school, but this is it. I cut it a little bit to crop it. And then this is the part that I just cringed at because it's this dress that I feel like I would have worn in middle school, and it has kind of like some pleats, and a bow in the front, but this did not flatter me at all. I'm five, five and a half, so I'm a decent height, but I don't like to wear big baggy things that are going to not accentuate any of my curves or any of my body really, and this just felt like a big frumpy bag over me, except for like the boob part fit. Um, and it just reminded me of something that I would wear at a middle school dance, which just made me cringe because those times just weren't pleasant for me. I think her idea was, yeah, for me to wear this underneath the dress, and I'll do a try-on part for you guys. The shoes, obviously, I don't think really match this outfit, so I think she just threw these in because they matched one of the photos that um, I told her about. And then the accessories were her she double necklace, which is cute, but I think I'm gonna sell it because I don't really wear silver too much and I'm not like in love with it. And her she double earrings, which she had already given me in her first bundle, so I'm probably just gonna like give these away together. She gave me these little butterfly clips, which I'm so happy about because I love butterflies. There's one up there. What they look like, they're just like plastic hair clips. I just thought they'd be really cute to layer and stack up in my hair. And then the last accessory she gave me were these earmuffs, which I'm also really stoked about because I love earmuffs so much and I don't have a pair, but they're my go-to thing for winter because I don't like wearing beanies. And beanies give you hat hair, so I was really excited to get these huge black earmuffs. I just think that they're so adorable and I'm like, heavily into these. That's why I'm saying like, I'm not really upset about this bundle because I got so many good pieces that I specifically asked for, like the shoes, butterfly clips, but the main part of the fit just wasn't my style and that's fine. Also, if you don't know who iGirl is, she is a seller on Depop who's one of the biggest sellers and she does these personalized style boxes. They're not available anymore, but I got this when it was on sale and it was about $150. So um, I will wear a lot of these pieces except for the dress. So I think that's a pretty good price for like a nice pair of secondhand shoes and like all these accessories. I literally don't know what to do with this dress. It gives me nightmares and please comment down below if you wore a dress like this when you were in middle school. And since I'm showing you a bunch of stuff from iGirl in my last bundle, I'll show you some of my favorite pieces. Like these docks that I got. They're so nice. They were so like clean 
and they have this really nice sheen to them which I love but they were really worn in and the heel of these kept scraping against my heel and giving me horrible blisters so I literally glued Dr. Scholl's foot inserts to the back of them like I cut them and glued them to the back of the shoe so I could actually wear them because they were basically like broken because the heel part was a plastic thing digging into my skin. But now that they're fine, I really do enjoy them. You can never go wrong with Docs because they are just so reliable, durable, comfortable, and cute. And these have been popular since the actual 90s, since before then. I don't know when they first became established, but Docs are so timeless and I've had my pair that I actually purchased for like five years. And then another piece from my last iGirl bundle, which I really liked, was this furry coat. Oh, there's a little leaf in there. It's just a huge statement coat. It's red. It has this pointy fur, which is intentionally pointy. At first I thought just because it was so worn, they just turned into points, but that is part of the design, which is good. It's definitely like, who is she when you wear this coat? And I love it because it's just fun being extra in New York. Everyone just wears whatever the F they want because there's always someone wearing something weirder or more outrageous. So it's really fun to experiment with fashion and styles here and just do really cool, bold looks. And now I'm going to show you two coats for fall and winter that you will see me wearing a lot. They're just really good essential pieces. The first one you may have already seen. It's this I don't know if it's tartan or plaid, but I'm so obsessed with it. It was made in London, England, and oh, it's this huge, huge, wonderful coat. It has big pockets, and one of my favorite details, the big green buttons. I'm just obsessed. And this was from Beacon's Closet, which has honestly become like my go-to thrift store. It has this, oh, to die for red fabric on the inside. I mean, that is just so rich, that color. It is slightly oversized, but I kind of dig it, especially having it open. It goes really well with literally any docks or any black boots. Oh, I'm just, what a great cop. I'm really happy about this. I also want to put a little pin on the collar, give it even more character. And it reminds me of something from a Wes Anderson film, which I'm obsessed with his aesthetic, which I know is so basic, but it's just so beautiful and vibrant and just so perfect like what he does with color but this is a very classy warm coat so i'm excited about that it makes me feel some type of way this next coat also makes me feel some type of way and i actually hauled it last winter but i brought it back i just got it cleaned and this i got at a flea market in new york and it has this amazing sequin quilting on the back and it just bedazzles and shines it's so elegant i don't know why i said it that way it's so elegant i also like how the cuff is pretty long i don't really see that nowadays on like any jacket just a long exaggerated cuff line and it's basically like a bomber jacket but glam as hell so this is by the brand nightline n-i-t-e line so excited to just go out in this i'm turning 21 this year i don't really drink but i'm definitely gonna do one night of dancing maybe the week after my birthday and i'm so excited to just like be extra sometimes i i just really want to do that when it calls just answer the call when it's not stay in a hoodie and sweatpants the next sweater my friend mary v gave to me and it's this awesome powder blue or baby blue color with this beautiful intricate embroidery on it and like bead work i don't know if that's the right way to say it but it's just so cute and okay my winter and fall aesthetic is basically either androgynous and grungy or just complete grandma and this is my grandma side of that story because i mean it's just so precious and i am a grandma truly like i think i've reincarnated several times and i just want to play board games and card games and read like that's what i want to do on my birthday hug some horses but i'm a grandma at heart and i feel like this really will help me embody that it's this really cute fleece hat which is actually by the brand Land's End, which I feel like when I was younger, I would always get their catalogs. Like, let me know if you ever got a Land's End catalog in your mail. I'm not gonna put it on now, but it's so cute. <laughs> I love this little thing. It's just precious. I really wanted to find like a bucket hat version of this, but this one will actually keep me warm and it's just adorable. 
The next thing that I got is this skirt. This I got from L Train Vintage and I just cut it so it's a mini skirt now. It's so cute and I've already worn it so much. I feel like this is such a good essential piece. I wore it to my meetup and it has these awesome pockets on the front too. Yes, another closet staple. It's just a black skirt. Shout out to anyone who went to my meetup. It was so fucking amazing meeting you all and swapping clothes. There were so many cuties there and so much clothes was swapped but I wore this top to that and this I thrifted at Le Point thrift store and it's just this off the shoulder sweater by Candies which also like such an early 2000s brand. The next thing I got from Le Point thrift store is this white turtleneck, another essential. These are just really great for layering. You can put big tees over things like this or even cami dresses over it. The next thing I got from this vintage store called Friends. They have new and used pieces. This part is really flattering and just fits my chest really well. It's super long so I feel like it's a classy but comfortable dress to go out in that's still a little bit sexy and what more could you want? Like a dress that makes you feel confident and hugs your curves but isn't too revealing and um, it's pretty versatile. And the funny thing about this is that it's by the same brand as the dress that I got in my iGirl bundle. Um, it's called Rampage and I just think that's really funny because this is so cute and totally something I would wear and the other dress is not. This I got in my last iGirl bundle, the first one that I got. I think it's supposed to be like snakeskin. The material is really thin and slinky. And then at the clothing swap, I got this velvet flower printed button down. Mixing textures is so fun. That's why I love velvet like this. And I want to get some vinyl pieces because it just really makes the outfit interesting when there are different textures and materials to it. Heck yes! Those are all of my recent essential finds for fall and I'll probably do another one for winter. I've been really cycling a lot of stuff out of my closet. I've been getting a lot of poetry books but I haven't read all of them so I don't really want to recommend any except I just remembered that I wanted to show you guys this one. It's called I Love My Love by Raina Biddy. And I found out about this through my friend Megan Hughes' podcast called Souls at Sundown. She plays some tunes, some really good music, and in the beginning of one of hers was a spoken word by this poet. And it was so beautiful and so relatable. And if it's in here, <clears throat> allow me to do a spoken word little moment for you. Okay, here it is. I dog-eared it. Why do they call it dog-earing? Is it because a dog's ear is like small and flappy? I'm into it. I'm drinking ginger tea with fresh ginger, but there's literally no water left, so it, I'm just eating ginger at this point. I used to wonder what it was like to be loved for me. I felt like if I were to lose all the acne, someone could see me. I thought that the prettier I could become, the more options I'd receive years later, and I'm still just as lonely. Actually, I might be more alone than ever. Someone forgot to tell me that Max Ruby Woo lipstick won't make it better, that long hair, nice skin, and abs won't last forever, that the men you let in are still out looking for treasure. Being physically gorgeous isn't a savior, and having the most beautiful smile still won't save him. I forgot to hold on to who I was on the inside. I wish it were easy for me to let people see what's on the inside. I wish somebody would have told me that I was already perfect on the outside for the person who is perfect for me. These bones have always been quite lovely. These bones can't wait to be touched. These bones can't wait to be loved, to hold trust, to build and bear life for nine months, to be held through the roughs beyond the lust. These bones could always keep up. These bones have been bruised, broken, and cut. These bones could never give up on me. <laughs> or you. I used to wonder what it was like to be loved for me by you. I feel like so many of us in this generation weren't taught about self-love or the importance of that and obviously that's because it probably wasn't taught to our parents but I really think that our generation when we start raising kids are going to teach them so much more about self-love, so much more about how to handle their emotions in a safer, more constructive way and because so many of us are struggling with mental illness we have this awareness on how different things affect children's psychology. Whether you are into psychology or know about it at all, I feel like so many of us can see our traumas and how they made us feel and how they impacted our current day actions. And hopefully we can rise above them and 
just help our kids have less trauma and guide them through whatever they're feeling and not demonize their emotions at all or make them feel wrong or invalidated in whatever they're feeling. That's what I hope because I know the adverse effect can happen when so many people do have traumas and they weren't treated properly that they do the same thing to their kids but I guess I'm on the side where I just want to try to protect and serve. If you did last till this long in the video, please comment down below. I am radiant so that I know if you're a real one. I feel like I so deeply don't want to be put in a box and that's why I'm always making like these truly raw heart to heart spiritual videos, but then also making videos where I'm caked up and I'm showing you pieces that I like and that make me feel good. But I'm uploading a vlog soon, which will be fun because it's like my day to day life. I just really want people to know that I don't care about clothes that much and that it really doesn't matter to me that much what I look like or what I'm wearing. I mean, it's just so insignificant and I'm so brutally aware of that but being on YouTube and some people just watching a haul video or just watching a makeup get ready with me or something might get their perception of me screwed up which I know I shouldn't care about but sometimes I'm just like that's not really all there is to me is like someone who looks pretty with makeup and dresses up like there's so much more and it's just part of my nature to always want to explore that and express that and really just peel back the layers and take a look inside what's really happening and because I love doing that with other people, I do that on my channel myself. I just want to dance between all the realms because I'm a multi-dimensional being, man. I don't have to be put in a box, I don't have to be this persona or that persona or this kind of aesthetic, like I love so many different forms of creative expression and I also see the beauty and benefit in complete and total minimalism. I'm playing and dancing in these different worlds but eventually I won't think about what I look like or won't think about what I'm wearing at all and I'm just going to be gardening and meditating in my cave. I'm truly just enjoying seeing how everything affects my alchemy and what makes me feel good. Okay, my memory card just got full, so I'm gonna quickly end this video and say thank you so much once again for hanging out with me, and I hope I see you in a video soon, but if you wanna keep up with me in the meantime, you can subscribe or follow me on my Instagram or download my app called Heat Domi Now, which is available in the App Store and soon to be available on Android. It has tons of yoga and meditation. I really enjoyed this, and if you got anything from this video, please write it down. Please listen to that little voice in your head that wants you to invoke something lighter and positive into your life and actually integrate it because we have so many thoughts a day. A lot of them really are uplifting and motivating and some of them are much denser. We have to pay more attention to the lighter ones and actually integrate those and carry those out to see a shift in our life. So please do that. I truly believe in you and I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye!